This video is going to be about 10 minutes long. I'm going to explain the benefits of single keyword campaigns if you've never ran them before and show you in detail how to start them inside AdBadger. But I wanted to show off in the beginning of this video and actually show you how within about 20 seconds you can create a single keyword campaign. Start the clock. So I'm inside Ad Badger. I'm going to go to Ad Manager. I'm going to go to maybe a campaign that I have running, maybe an ad group that I have running. I'm going to see a keyword out of the group of keywords in this ad group and say, hmm, this is what I want in a single keyword campaign. I'm going to scroll to the right. I'm going to click Create Single Keyword Campaign. Ad Badger already populated a campaign name with it. I can add it to a portfolio if I want. I can do a start and end date if I want. I can give it a daily budget based off how much it's spent in the last 30 days. I can give it a starting bid based off what it's been winning clicks at previously. Bid strategy, I could turn on bids by Badger if I want. It'll automatically hit a target A cost for me. Minimum maximum bid if I want to fine tune the algorithm. Uh, I can go ahead and make sure all the product ads are there that I had in the source ad group. Uh, I, then I can go ahead and add it as exact. I have the option to pause it in the source ad group and even add it as a negative exact in the source ad group if I want all that traffic to flow to that new campaign. And boom, I've created a single keyword campaign just like that. The old adage of putting your best foot forward is incredibly true when it comes to PPC, specifically Amazon PPC, which makes one of the best ways to scale on Amazon advertising is to improve the specificity at which we're targeting keywords, products, and placements. And one of the best ways to do that is through the use of single keyword campaigns, which we're gonna talk about today. And up until now, building single keyword campaigns has been a very difficult and slow process. And we're gonna talk about ways that we've improved this process with our single keyword campaign builder. My name is Michael Erickson Fasheen. I'm the CEO and head of product here at AdBadger. And let's jump in inside the app. I wanted to start off by asking a few basic questions. You know, what page on Amazon earns the most revenue? Here I did a search for home gym, and you can see here that the answer is, of course, the first page. In fact, it's a very slow process to scroll all the way down to the bottom, click next. In fact, Amazon generally views that as a failure. You know, they want you to be able to convert in as little clicks as possible. In fact, the last page of results is not even clickable. You have to go all the way to the end. So of course, the first page earns the most revenue. Now, on that first page, what position earns the most revenue? Again, another straightforward question. It's most commonly the first few placements. When it comes to Amazon PPC, the first few placements or the top of search are going to be the placements that earn the most revenue. Now, Amazon actually has a few features where you can increase your specificity for top of search. You could see here that for sponsored products, you are able to see the performance for top of search, product pages, and rest of search. And you can actually apply a bid modifier to top of search and say, hey, I want to bid more aggressively for top of search because that's where I earn the best A costs and the most revenue. Pretty straightforward, right? However, there's an issue with this. These placement settings are done on a per campaign basis, which means every single keyword, every single ad group, and every single product will have the exact same placement bid setting. Meaning there might be some keywords where it's not profitable to appear at top of search, where it might be actually a better idea to appear deeper down in rest of search. And by not having the ability to do that, I see lots and lots of campaigns that have a placement setting that is misaligned with individual keyword performance. So by having this campaign level setting be applied to all the keywords and all the ads inside a campaign, it creates a misalignment of putting our best foot forward, making sure that we're bidding the most in the best placements for the keywords that earn the most. So the problem of ad groups and keywords converting differently is the reason why a single keyword campaign is so valuable because it allows you to pluck a keyword that deserves that big top of search bid, that big front and center placement, and it allows you to fine tune the placement just for that. And this is also true for maybe substitutes, close match, loose match, and compliments. You can see here that inside an actual uh, automatic ad group, 
you can see that I have wildly different ACOSs. I have a, uh, a 5.8 ROAS, I have a 2.6 ROAS. I have lots of sales for substitutes and I have very few sales for compliments. Applying the same placement bid to even an automatic campaign is a misstep and misalignment of how profitable each target or keyword is. So what's the solution to get around this? Single keyword campaigns or single target campaigns. It is the way to make sure that your best keywords get the most visibility. It allows you to provide a dedicated budget for some of your choice, your top keywords, and it allows you to specifically set a placement bid for that specific keyword, which will allow you to maximize revenue and minimize ACoS. Now, up until now, the issue with a single keyword campaign is that it was incredibly cumbersome to make. You had to go find the keyword, create an entirely new campaign. Now you could use bulk files, but even that is difficult when you're doing it at scale. On the other end of the spectrum, if you had some kind of automation that was just turning everything into a single keyword campaign, you could end up with tens of thousands of keywords and it would be quite overwhelming. Furthermore, not everything deserves to be in a single keyword campaign which is why we built our own single keyword or target campaign builder. It's baked right into the ad manager and I'm excited to show you. Let's jump in. Let's go ahead and log into Ad Badger. So here I am inside Ad Badger and I'm gonna head over to our ad manager. Now our ad manager is where we built a pretty familiar looking view, something you might see right inside Amazon, except we added extra columns like revenue per click. Uh, we've added the ability to view all keywords, which would allow us to view all of our keywords across every single campaign that we have. And I wanted to get to this view so I can demonstrate how to interact with our single keyword campaign builder. Let's say I take this keyword buffered vitamin C and I'm going to scroll and look at the data here and, and see that this keyword, you know what, I really like this. I'd like to give it its own dedicated budget and I'd like to give it its own dedicated placement bid because it earns a lot of orders every month. In this demo account, it generates 27,000 clicks per month, maybe warranting its own single keyword campaign and dedicated budget. So what I'm going to do here is just scroll over to the right and click create single keyword campaign. And just like that, I am now in the interface where I can create a single keyword campaign. You can see that AdBadger already populated the keyword that it was. It labeled it a manual sponsored product, MSP. It labeled it a single keyword campaign, SKWC, as well as the date that I'm launching it. I do have the option to place inside an existing portfolio if I'd like, and we've got our uh, search filter here if we wanted to do that. Uh, I can also put an end date as well if I'd like to. I can also change the start date if I'd like to. When I come down here to bidding options, you can see that the Badger has included some suggestions to help me get started. I could set a daily budget. So I might say, okay, the buffered vitamin C has spent $9.33 daily over the last 30 days. So I have an idea of about how much this keyword I spent. So I can just go with a $10. I can also click one of these, really simple to go above that. I can also set one that I'd like to set myself. And then I can also see set a starting bid. You know, buffered vitamin C previously had a starting bid of 288. So I can leave that or I can do something, whatever I'd like. I can select a bidding strategy, down, up and down or fixed bids. And I can also turn on bids by Badger for this campaign. I can see buffered vitamin C had an average A cost of 32% over the last 30 days. So I can target that in my new campaign. I can go a little bit below that and I can go a little bit above that. I also have options to set a minimum and maximum bid. These are Ad Badger's uh, features that allow you to fine tune the algorithm. Uh, basically Ad Badger won't bid below 144 or above 576 in this example. And I have the option to change it here. Furthermore, when I come down to the ad group, you could see that it carried over the existing product ads that were in the previous ad group. Um, and I have the option to remove any of them. And then I come down here for targeting. I'm add, gonna be adding it as an exact match. And then I have some further options if I'd like to pause it in this source ad group. So the ad group that it was in previously, I'm gonna mark that because I don't want it to appear there anymore. And then I have one final option. Would you like to add it as a negative exact 
in the source ad group. So I can click that as well. So those are some of the options that I have when creating a single keyword campaign. Now this is the demo account, but it'll look exactly like that. I'll also get a notification of when it's sent to Amazon and I'll see that right in my notifications settings. And then from there, I've got a single keyword campaign built for that specific keyword. It was very quick and that's pretty neat, isn't it? There's one more thing I wanted to demonstrate with our single keyword campaign builder. We had done a study here at AdBadger and we actually discovered that within an automatic campaign, the four auto targets, loose match, substitutes, complements, and close match, all behaved wildly different. And notice that some of our customers were actually creating campaigns just for loose match, where they can have a dedicated budget, bid, and placement settings just for loose match or substitutes, for example. So we actually baked that into our single target builder, and in this case, where we have the same setup except now it's gonna be an auto campaign with just loose match activated with everything else paused. So again, really shortcutting uh, the steps required to actually build a single target campaign. Hey, so if you're interested in learning more about AdBadger, be sure to go to adbadger.com slash product tour. You can also click the link in the description. Have a good one, and hopefully I'll see you inside the Badger Den.